video, we're going to look at how to configure your Parsub template to pull in only the info that you want from a web page. We're going to be creating a central database for pet adoption in Toronto. And creating a central database will make it easier and more convenient to see pets that are listed each day, instead of having to go to half a dozen or 10 or more different websites to keep track. We'll only be pulling in data from two sites for the purpose of this tutorial, but as you can imagine, it would be very handy to have a central database so that you're not having to visit 10 to 12 sites each day to see pets that are available to adopt. Once you've created a Parsub account and downloaded the desktop app, you'll see this home screen. Let's click on new project. And as you can see, I've already copied in the URL for the Toronto Humane Society. So we're gonna start the project on this URL. And now in this page, we can see the URL has been loaded up and we're currently in select mode where you'd be able to select any of the elements on the page. We're just gonna pop into browse mode by toggling this tab here. And what we wanna do is expand this available for adoption dropdown to be able to see all of the animals that are available to adopt. So we need to let Parsub know that clicking on available for adoption is actually the first step that we want it to execute when it lands on this web page is to click on available for adoption to expand this list and then pull all of the details from each of the adoptees listed. So here in our selection, we're going to give this a name. We'll do available underscore dropdown. You can't have any spaces in the name. Uh, you can have underscores and no other special characters either. So available dropdown is what we want our select to be. And I'm still in browse, so I can't select anything. So I need to toggle off of browse. And then now I can select available for adoption. And what we want to let Parsub know is that this is going to be a click action. So Parsub is asking us if when available for adoption is clicked, if it's a next page button. And so we're going to click no because it's just a, a drop down or expand. It's not taking us away from this page. And then we'll want it to continue with the current template once it's clicked. Perfect. So now we can add an action to the page and we're going to now get the details for each of the adoptees listed. So this is going to be a select action name. And I'm just going to toggle on to browse, open up our adoptees here and our name selector is going to be the name of our doc here. So we'll go with ready. And so as you can see, Parsub just added one name to the selector to let Parsehub know the format we're going to click another name so that Parsehub can better understand the format and layout of this page and we can scroll down and also click on another name and so now we can see that Parsehub's added all of the names of the dogs through the whole page here so all uh, 13. Oh, one more. Perfect. So now that Parsub knows the layout and all of the dogs have been listed and they're highlighted in green, we can add a few more details. So we want to add actually a relative select. So for each dog, we want to add a few more details uh, about it. So we want to pull in the gender, age, breed, and the photo. So if we add in gender here, then what we'll do is we'll select first the orange highlighted uh, name of the dog, and then we're gonna relate it to that same dog. So now that we can see all of our related fields have been added. And as you can see here, we have 14, which is perfect. 
So we're going to do the same for breed. So I'll click Charlie here and relate the breed field as a relative select. And again, we have all 14, so that's great. And we can do age. Let's go with Pac-Man. And again, we got all 14, which is perfect. And lastly, we'll do a relative select for the photo. What is that? And let's try another one. Awesome. So it looks like Parsub has picked up the pattern there to grab the photo for each of our listings as well. Awesome. So that's everything that we need from this listing. And now we can click get data and we can do a test run here. So if we click on test run, now we can step through all of the steps that we just set up to make sure everything is working as expected. So if we just click through with our first step, we'll see that we land on the URL and then let's click our next step here. And we want to click on available dropdown and we do. And then our adoptees are available to uh, be seen there. And so as we click through, we are adding the name, the breed and gender and age, as well as the photo. And you can see a little preview down here that shows the data that will be pulled out by row. So we have the, the name of the dog, the gender, the breed, and the age. So our data set is working as expected. To exit the test run, we can just click stop here at the top. And let's give this a name. And we'll save. And we can navigate back out to our home screen. And we can see that our new project is there. Congrats on creating your first web scraping project in Parsub. Mm -hmm.